Next to the scientist who wants to remove harmful chemicals from the soil. Most of Phoebe Goodman's work is done in the lab, but as you're about to see, that doesn't mean that her life is particularly, shall we say, comfortable. No, in fact, as Brian Har Brady Harron Brian. discovered even, <laughs> well, he used to be called Brian, it's complicated, <laughs> it's chilly, and it's rather pungent. It's wet and miserable in the Leicestershire countryside. PhD researcher Phoebe Goodman's helping students test for arsenic in the ground. Oh dear. So you'd think she's looking forward to getting back to the office. But the office for Phoebe is this tiny refrigerated room at the University of Nottingham. She's conducting an experiment into fertiliser levels in the soil and she'll be needing her gloves. Because I'm dealing with sharp needles and my hands get cold and slightly numb and the coordination goes. So if I don't cover my hands up, I very quickly start stabbing myself. The temperature I've got the room set at is the uh, average mean temperature of the uh, soil. The room's 10 degrees, which maybe doesn't sound too bad, but I can assure you it's really freezing when you're standing absolutely still in a tiny room. You get colder and colder and then suddenly you turn around and realise you can't feel your fingers anymore. See? Just red at the tips. When she's working, Phoebe has to leave her lab coat hanging on the door. When um, I'm in here on my own, if I fell over or got too cold or started to go hypothermic or anything, uh, no one would know unless if the door was open they could see in. So it has to be left open, the lab coat has to be left on it so people know I'm occupying here. So if something goes wrong they can spot me. Oh and by the way, the cold isn't the worst part of this job. The liquid Phoebe's extracting must be one of the most foul-smelling substances on earth. It smells um, like a cat's peed in a toilet that's been left for five years, having never been flushed. It's just indescribable, absolutely minging. And it gets in your mouth. You have to have a mint nod for that. Oh, God. <laughs> Over two hours later and Phoebe's work in the fridge is done. But remember her next time you think scientists have an easy life. And if you see a white coat hanging on a door, maybe pop in and check there's not a frozen scientist inside. Brady Harron, East Midlands Today. Meg's working here seem not quite so bad. <laughs> Even fragrant.